So Men are easy with this wet weather. How many flamingos have been done at City Hall today? Seven, about 75. 75, so he was almost a super flocking at City Hall. We are super flocking, or over super flocking. I thought 80 was... No, $80. Okay. Super flock, 50. Okay. So you, you super flocked and a half. Yep. <laughs> okay. But we've got them all over. Does City Hall know you're doing this? Yes. We got permission from... Wouldn't it have been more fun if you just did it and see what they said? Well, we didn't want to get in trouble. Oh. <laughs> now we'll to... do that with everybody else. Yeah. Everybody else. If you wake We're... up and there are pink flamingos in your yard, you'll know who to talk to. We are flocking the Church Hill City Hall. Raising awareness for our fundraiser, we are flocking City Hall. We will do this for anybody that would like us to. We are putting out flamingos to raise money for the Churchill Free Clinic. What is the history behind the flamingos? The flamingos are just to bring attention. Uh -huh. You can have somebody's yard flocked. We will either tell them if you would like who sponsored the flocking, or if we don't have to, we can just do it anonymously. Okay. It costs $25 for a flocking within a 10-mile radius of the Churchill Free Clinic. Okay. Outside the 10-mile radius, it's $40. Okay. That includes 24 birds overnight. All right. And we will pick them up. Now, how do you super flock someone? Super flocking is a total of 50 birds, and it costs $80. Now, there is flocking insurance. If you don't want to be flocked, you can pay us $20, and we guarantee we won't flock you. I like them, but I, you it's know. just and I did a, a, a crazy way to raise money. It was a money. good idea. It was a really is good this, idea. Uh, Something, is this like there something that's happening everywhere? Or well, I saw it in she turned this one on Facebook. A friend of mine, um, what, the church yeah. youth group did it. Thank and um, so we adopted the idea. We, we flocked two, two homes this weekend. Oh. Yeah, yeah we did uh, one in Colonial Heights and one in Johnson City. <laughs> <laughs> it was his pastor's family uh, at home. Got, yeah, so, uh, what was the reaction of people when they uh, woke up and saw all the fling flamingos? <laughs> well, the, the first one was. Uh, he uh, he actually, you know, uh, ran our race last year, and he had his shirt on that morning. It said Churchill Free Medical Clinic. And it, that said Churchill Free Medical Clinic, and he said he got up, and he was just kind of doing his stuff, and his wife said, there's pink flamingos in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what? He said, what? <laughs> she said, there's pink flamingos out there. So he went out, and of course he saw the sign, and he took, he took some pictures. He posted it on Facebook. And then from there, so who rescues the flamingos? How long does it, the flamingos stay? One day. One full day. One, One full day. We'll rescue them. Yeah, we rescue them. I went back and got his that evening, and then he sent me a text and said, uh, I want to do the other preacher. So he paid to do it, and I said, I'll do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so he paid to have a pl um, flocked the other person. Number for the, the phone number for the clinic is 423-256-2408. And the clinic for down in at uh, one accord is four two three nine two one eight zero four four. And what hours should they call? Um, ten to five at the clinic and nine to five at of uh, one accord or the uh, shepherd's center. At, every day at the clinic. Yes. Okay. be the Churchill Medical Mission. Okay. The reason we're doing that is we will spend a thousand dollars on medicine a week. And we've been working in the black, I mean, excuse me, in the red so much that we can't afford to keep the doors open. So what we're going to be asking is a five, we'd asked a five dollar donation before. Now we're actually going to say five dollars, but that, would, that includes the visit, all your medicines, it includes x-rays and labs. Cassie, how many patients do we see in a month? Um, we used to be open eight days a month. A lot. It's about 150 office visits a month. We're only open three evenings a month. We used to be open eight, but we can't afford to stay open anymore. So, five dollars a visit? Yeah, yes. And then we, we're open, we're open seven times a you month. Your match color is pretty good. Seven times a month. Three of them are evening clinic and general medical clinic, specialty clinic. And then um, four, four times a month for diabetes. So the way the clinic flows is people come in, they're making appointments now. The nurse does the intake, check what medicines they're on, see what they're there for, they can see the physician, then they'll come, uh, we'll take their chart at the pharmacy, fill in their, all their meds, and it might be two pages worth.
because if you've got diabetes, a lot of times your your lipids are up, your uh -huh. blood pressure is up. So we fill all that, and then we um, during that time they have an opportunity to speak to a spiritual counselor. It is not required, right. but it's an opportunity, and they can and it. They can talk about what's going on in their lives, yeah. things to coping mechanisms, things like that. And they get their medicines and they go on their way.